Welcome to Behind the Swamp, where we take an in-depth look of SHP athletes and their stories. For episode one, we are bringing on freshman Aseli Fangupo from the varsity football team. Over the years of SHP football, a few freshmen have played up on varsity. However, none have started on varsity until Aseli. Where did you grow up and when did you come to SHP? So I grew up in Road City. Uh, I moved to East Palo Alto with my cousins. Then I moved to Menlo Park. When I was in East Palo Alto, that was my first year at Sacred Heart. I applied in uh, fifth grade and I got in in sixth grade. Now I live in Hayward and I, I just recently moved in Hayward. What time do you need to wake up every morning to get here from Hayward? I wake up around like 6.30 every morning. I have like two alarms, uh, 6.30 and 6.45. And then I'll get up at like 6.50 and then get ready for like 10 minutes and then leave the house at like seven and get here like around eight. What was it like watching your brother at St. Francis for years? Did you model anything in your game after him? He played varsity as a sophomore and he got like W Cal Junior of the Year. So he has like a lot of awards and like just being like his little brother and like I was like just looking up to the, all those uh, good players and like I wanted to like intimidate my game from them. Did you and your brother tackle each other growing up and is that how you got the dog mentality? Uh, growing up uh, I got like kind of bullied by all my cousins. Uh, I was always, I'm like one of the youngest uh, in my family. So like playing rugby at the park together and I would just like get blown up like every time we go out or like playing football and I just get like blindsided by one of my cousins. So like, yeah, that, that was life. What's it like playing with seniors and what's it like being the youngest guy out there? Being the youngest guy on the team, I look up to everybody, uh, the sophomores, the juniors, the seniors. Everybody's been helping me like understand what the culture is at Sacred Heart uh, on and off the field. When you were told you were going to be called up to varsity this summer, were you nervous? So we, had the, we have a freshman camp and it's for like two weeks. And like we did one day, then the next day of the camp, uh, I got asked to get, if I wanted to move up. We set up a Zoom call and uh, right away, as soon as, <laughs> as soon as we turned the Zoom on, I knew that uh, I knew that he was going to be a player because he filled up the entire screen, and uh, we talked about the program, the kind of things that uh, we emphasize, and uh, right away, you know, he just was hooked and said he wanted to come here. I, I was super excited. I wasn't too nervous because, like, I felt like I was pretty prepared and like coming into Sacred Heart. That sort of was one of the things I was planning to do. I knew that uh, he was athletic and and big, and he'd fit in really well here, um, but he's definitely exceeded all of our expectations as far as yeah. uh, he's the first freshman that we've ever had you know starting at line on varsity and uh, not only has he you know started and played well on the field i think the thing that's been the most surprising just how mature he is and how he handles himself how do you prioritize school with football uh school and football uh it's good now i'm playing like varsity now like so then like later i still have a long way to go and like my day is just usually football, then right after football, just eat, shower, and then go straight to homework. And then, like, it really tests me. Like, I got to stay on my school just as much as I got to stay on football. What keeps you motivated? Just my family. Uh, I know, like, they have, like, I also have, like, little siblings that look up to me. So, like, I have a lot to own up to. And then, like, I'm just playing for, like, my family name. I'm just trying to rep represent uh the Fonga Bowl family. Do you think you can be the third Gator to make the NFL? We'll see. Uh, I want to make college first. And then uh, we'll see from there. All right, thank you. Thank you. Wait, wait, cut that out, cut that out, cut that out. Okay, okay.